Hi, today is Sunday, July uh, 22nd, 2018, and I'm uh, watching a movie um, today. It was free because it's uh, offered through uh, Comcast Xfinity On Demand um, Premium Series uh, Epics. And I don't subscribe to Epics, but they're having a special this week. Uh, from July 16th to July 22nd, and today is the last day, so I, it's the first time I found out about it in the afternoon. Uh, it's uh, going on 2 o'clock right now, p.m. Eastern Time, and the movie I, uh, I'm watching is Mother! Exclamation point with Jennifer Lawrence and uh, uh, Michelle Pfeiffer, um, Jar Jarvin, Jarvin, Jarvin Bardem or something, I can't pronounce his name, um, actor, and uh, Ed Harris, um, and uh, so I I wasn't going to watch that movie, uh, even if it was free, uh, before when, when it was available to rent, because I thought it would scare me, <laughs> I don't know, I just seen the previews of it on commercial on TV and, and on the internet, and I just thought, Oh, I don't know if I want to watch this movie, but I got, I'm only reached 21 minutes so far out of 121 minutes. And, um, it hasn't scared me yet. So I have, I'm not making a judgment yet on the movie. Um, I do like Jennifer Lawrence's movies. Um, actress Jennifer Lawrence. So that's another reason why I decided to pick that movie out of all the movies that was available free on epics today. Uh, so, uh, anyways, um, I've got my laptop here facing me and the window behind me, and I was hoping you could see outside the window, but because of the light coming in, it's not doing very good. And also, my glasses, you can tell that the light from the computer or whatever shines on my glasses, so uh, the reflection. So, I don't know if they make eyeglasses where you can uh, you avoid the bl the uh the glare or whatever but anyways this is what I look like without them without the glasses but um I can't see otherwise if I don't have them on um so uh I'm wearing my uh robe my my uh winter robe uh because it's kind of chilly damp not chilly but damp it's been raining all day, but it's a light rain outside in Port Huron, Michigan. And we're right by Lake Huron uh, in the St. Clair River. So we're close to, I'm close, maybe a mile away, away from uh, Lake Huron. So anyways, I may, matter of fact, that's probably why we get the weather we do, the fog and everything, and um, has a lot to do with the water. But anyways, I'm going to go back now to watch that movie, Mother. I think this is the kind of movie you'd want to watch with someone. Um, and I live alone, so I don't know, <laughs> you know, um, but I'm watching it. So uh, maybe I'll do another video another time to let you know how I liked it. If not, then I'll post it on my Facebook page how I liked it. Um, I already put the Internet database, movie database, uh, uh, movie uh mother on my facebook page uh and a movie trailer youtube movie trailer so that's available for people to see um my robe here now i like i'm wearing because it's kind of damp it's not it's not chilly but damp um it's over my shorts and my uh tank top so um i am dressed but um i just threw the robe on because it's kind of like damp in, in my apartment and it's probably due to the weather outside so anyways uh it's sunday july 22nd 2018 this month has gone by so fast for summer and august is coming up and then after august summer's over with i mean we have warm weather in september even october but um you know summer isn't that long here in michigan and i wish it was but uh I'd rather have the four seasons, I think, because I lived in Florida in the early 1980s, and I hated the the weather down there in the summertime because it was so hot. Uh, 
the winter was fine, you know, but not uh, not the summers there. And it was very humid. So we do get humidity here in Michigan, but it's uh, it's not like it is in Florida. And uh, we do have harsh winters. Um, and also with this climate change, uh, global warming, um, it's affected not just Michigan, and uh, it's affected other states too, and it's affected other countries. So anyways, um, I'm going to say goodbye. I know I say that whenever I do a video, I'm going to say goodbye, and I keep on talking. Uh, it's like the Energizer Bunny. Um, anyways, um, I guess that's it. Um, I just wanted to do this video because I took about four photos right now. And I'll post a video uh, to my YouTube account and my Facebook page and and the photos to my Facebook page. So anyways, happy summer, happy July, uh, happy Sunday, and enjoy the rest of the summer because July is almost over with. Bye now. This is Joanne Marie Rumford, by the way, um, in Port Huron, Michigan. I've lived here since, uh, in this apartment now, since uh, March 1995. Uh, I lived downtown Port Huron on Wall Street. Uh, it was a duplex. Well, actually, it was a house with apartments in it. I lived upstairs. And I lived there for about three months before I moved in here, and that was in 1994. So, um, and uh, I moved in here in March 1995. So I've I've lived here in Port Huron longer than I have lived where I was born in Detroit, Michigan in 1954 um, at uh, um, Art Center Hospital, which the building is there still, but not it's not a hospital anymore. It uh, was uh, called Art Center. Um, and uh, uh, I, you know, have never been there. I didn't even know until I moved here to Port Huron where it was at until about maybe not too long ago. So anyways, um, uh, I've lived here in Port Huron longer than I li lived in Detroit because when I was 19, I moved out uh, into uh on my own for my parents' house. And I lived there the, at my parents' house the whole 19 years uh, I lived there. I uh, went to uh, Detroit Public Schools and graduated. Um, and now I'm in Port Huron. I graduated in 2004 for associate degree in um, microcomputer administration, uh, 2002, a certificate for um, computer information systems at St. Clair County, County Community College here in Port Huron, SC4 for short. And uh, I used to take the bus there most of the time. Uh, I, I went there and worked downtown at McMoran Place uh, Entertainment and Sports Arena. I worked in the parking lot. I was the parking lot attendant for about seven years. I got that job um, actually, I worked a summer job here up at the beach um, and park. Uh, well, I was talking about Lake Huron, about a mile from here. And I was a parking lot attendant there for the summer only. And then I got the job at Memorial Place. And uh, I went to school at SD4 there, which is right next to McMorrin and, uh, in the 1990s. And uh, so I graduated uh, the college uh, there in 2004. And certificate there at the college in uh, 2002. Um, I stopped working at uh, McMoran Place in um, March, I think it was March, the month of March in um, 2003. So um, anyways, uh, I've enjoyed living here in Port Huron. I've met a lot of people. I've had um, a lot of uh, experience as far as having, um, uh, what do you call it, um, travel, I guess you'd say, um, with uh, my former boyfriend. We went to Alaska. We went on a Caribbean cruise. Um, we visited my family a lot um, uh, in Canada, across the Blue Water Bridge in um, Ipperwash Beach on Lake Huron. Uh, at my mom's cottage 
uh, there. Uh, uh, she passed away August uh, 3rd, 2015, and uh, we had a celebration live here at uh, Freighter's um, Tap Room and uh, Restaurant uh, on the St. Clair River here in Fort Erie, Michigan uh, on August 9th, um, 2015. Um, after she passed away. So um, anyways, I, I've had, I've really been um, lucky, I guess you could say, to have been able to see my family in Canada during that time. time. Uh, uh, even though I'm not, uh, you know, going there now, I was before because uh, I was allowed to cross the Blue Water Bridge. Now I'm not. Um, that's another story, but, uh, and that was, uh, the last time I spent with my mom was 2008 at Christmas with family over there in London, Ontario, Canada. And, um, then I tried to, on my birth, my sister's birthday, February 5th, 2009 to go visit my mom in the nursing home. Cause she went in the nursing home in 2007 and Christmas. And, uh, so, um, I went over on uh, my sister's birthday, February 5th, 2009, crossed the border. I couldn't go across. I, when I got across, I couldn't enter. I was there in the uh, customs for about three hours. I've had, I had people coming up to talk to me that were just travelers. Um, and then I came back here to Port Huron. So I don't know if it's an issue with people that live here in Port Huron. But uh, it was an issue with me before, so um, it, I pro it doesn't have anything to do with me living here in Port Huron. But I, I've heard stories where people that live and work here in Port Huron are not able to cross the Blue Water Bridge um, and enter Canada. Uh, but my family is from Canada and also from the United States and Ireland. And my dad's side of the family is Canadian, and uh, my mom's side of the family is Ir Irish and English, uh, England. And uh, dad's ancestors from Scotland. Uh, so I, you know, um, have been going traveling Canada since I was when I, my mom was pregnant with me, and my sister too, uh, younger sister. She was born in '57. I was born in 54. My sister was born on February 5th, 1957. Uh, uh, on I, February 5th, 1957, I was born January 5th, 19, 1954. And my brother who was born in Detroit too, so was my sister. And uh, he was born on um, September 14th, 1936. My dad was born on um, April 11th, um, 1915 in Cambridge or Galt, Canada, now called Cambridge, Ontario, Canada. And my mom was born on April uh, 30th, 1920 in Dublin, Ireland. And that's another story how my parents met. Uh, dad moved over here for, uh, to Detroit with his family from Canada when he was about 16 years old. He was in World War II. He entered uh, enlisted in 1941 after the uh, Pearl Harbor, and it was in the Army and stationed in Alaska for, for the entire uh, length of World War II. Mom was serving, or not serving, but she was working in um, London, England, where she lived uh, from when she moved there with about 19 years old uh, from her home, childhood home in Dublin, Ireland, um, on Church Avenue. 14 Church Avenue, uh, South Dublin, Ireland. Um, and she uh, was about 19 when she went to uh, Ireland. Uh, she had a job set up to go there. And then when she got there, she found out she, w she wasn't able to have a get the job. And then she was kind of stuck. And then uh, a police officer approached her and uh, talked to her. And I guess she got a job. She was working at a train station. And she was working, I guess, uh, in the coffee shop or whatever. Um, she had a, it was a room and board type of uh, job. Um, and uh, she met um, George Bernard Shaw. She helped him walk across the railroad tracks. 
he gave her a signed a, a, a copy of a book he wrote. And uh, later on, it was went missing in her room where she worked at, at the train station. Uh, this is a story, story she told me a long time ago when I was growing up uh, and everybody else she was telling about it. Um, and uh, so she was over there during the whole entire World War II uh, uh, when she was 19 and she was born in 1920. So she was over there during the entire war. And then she came over um, by airplane. Her brother, oldest brother, Robert Stanley, got her an airline ticket. And she flew in 1949. Um, I think she came to Canada and then came from Canada to the States to live with her sister and her sister's family. Um, and that's where my dad met her, my mom um, and uh, in Detroit, Michigan, because mom worked there briefly before she married my dad. And then after uh, they married in 1952, um, she didn't work anymore. And she raised, she was a housewife and uh, she had my sister and me. Um, my dad and mom married um, at St. Mary uh, Catholic Church, um, St. Mary of Redford Catholic Church. Um, and uh, uh, she, it was, not, it was uh, August uh, uh, 2nd, uh, 1952, they married. So I was born two years later than my sister, three years later, and my brother's uh, mom who had passed away when my dad got out of the army in World War II had passed away. So uh, my brother um, was about nine years old when his mom passed away and dad got out of the army. Um, and so my brother was born 1936. So he was about five years old when dad went in to, um, uh, in 1941 to when he enlisted. And uh, so there was about five years or four years where he didn't see his dad. Um, and so um, he's my half brother, my sister and my half brother. Um, so anyways, um, that's a story. Dad passed away on uh, Halloween. Um, I was living with my parents then. On, uh, he passed away on um, October 31st, 1990. Uh, his funeral was on um, November 3rd, 1990, at our, and, and my, both my parents now are, um, uh, they're, they're, it's at, they're at the family cemetery in Forest, Ontario, Canada, uh, which is called Beechwood uh, Cemetery. Um, so uh, I guess that's it for um I had said a while, quite a while ago about, I'd say, what is going on, 18, minute, uh, 18 minutes now of um, recording. Um, I said, well, I'm going to say goodbye now, and that's what I do. I say goodbye, and I keep on talking. Uh, uh, so anyways, like the energi Energize Bunny, that commercial on TV back in the 70s or whatever, it, it keeps on ticking. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to say goodbye now, and it's still raining outside, but it's a light rain. It's, it's, it's very soothing. Uh, it's been doing this all morning, so when you don't, I don't have the radio on or music going or CDs, music CDs going or the TV going. It's kind of relaxing just to, be, to ha have no noise in the apartment and um, just listen to the rain uh, come down. So. Um, this time last year on uh, July uh, 22nd, 2017, I still had my cat Tessie with me. Uh, she passed away in September uh, 8th, uh, 2017. So a year ago, July 22nd, 2017, she was with me and she's not today. Um, but uh, I had her, I adopted her in 2009. She was about a year old. Okay, so I missed. I miss uh, I miss her a lot. Um, and uh, anyways, I'm gonna go now, okay. So I'll I'll talk to you again sometime when I do another video. Um, have a nice uh, uh, Sunday and enjoy enjoy the weather wherever you are because um, uh, it's not 
even though it's raining out here now, it's still good weather. It's not like the power is going out or anything because of snowstorm or uh, or power outage during the the summertime. If there's a, a, a uh, either by weather, uh, electrical storm or or um, a, a mechanical failure at uh, DTE Energy, um, where I pay my bills. I pay Semco Energy for my gas bills. Um, and it affects it affects you when the power goes out, especially in the winter time when you don't have a second home to go to, or a vacation uh, uh, cottage to go to, like my parents had at, at White Cliffs Cottage at Upper Wash Beach uh, when uh, we got it in the 1960s. So it was nice to go there during the summertime with my and my parent my parents and my sister, and uh, my brother had a cottage right not too far from there. He got right after we got our cottage uh, at Fort Frank um in in Ontario Canada but he's not he wasn't on the Lake Huron though but he did have access to uh the river to go out on Lake Huron and they had a boat and his partner Lee Harriso had it they both had a boat and they looked like the Batmobile and uh he they used to come over they'd take the boat all the way in front of our cottage and we'd run down the beach my sister and I and they take us water skiing and that's the first time I learned how to slalom ski on the water and I was about, uh, let's see, can't remember the date that we got the cottage, but it was sometime in the mid-60s. It was either after or before President uh, John F. Uh, Kennedy, Fitzgerald Kennedy, uh, was assassinated, uh, and, um, which was 63, 1963, November 22nd, 1963. So we, were, so we had either had the cottage before that or at, soon after that. Um, and like I said, it was a nice place to go to, um, another country, um, and learn, uh, the, the customs over there, similar to uh, the States here in the United States where I am and, uh, meet people there. And even, you know, we had family, so it was like, it was kind of like second nature to us to, uh, because we did have family living over there. Um, so I'm going to say goodbye now. Um. And uh, oh, we still do have family living over there. Um, and uh, and I'm going to say goodbye now for the third time. And I hope you have a, a great day. Take care.